Hello, in today's video I'm going to be covering how to, I guess, retain your texel density while packing. Uh, this is, I'm primarily making this video because I had no clue um, how to do it. I couldn't find anything online on how to get it working. Uh, spoke to some of the people at Ryzen, they gave me a fix and I guess I want to cover that fix so everybody else knows. Um, yeah, pretty simple, and it's, it's a fairly simple issue. So something uh, that we're doing in, for example, a game that I'm working on, um, is we have a texel density, we're using maps for props at 1024 with a texel density of about 200, right? And so if I select everything, press Shift Q, that sets the texel density to, you know, my target, which is about 200, um, as you're going to see, everything's split out. Issue. Now, what you'd usually do is press P to pack, right? Standard. Hover over it. We're going to see that we are quite a bit outside of our range. Almost double. And so you may be thinking, okay, well, we've just packed it, so surely you can press Shift Q again. No, same issue. So, super simple fix. All we're going to be doing is you know press making sure that you're in that uh texel density so if you haven't already you know you can press shift q alternatively press td and that's going to apply your texel density now we're just going to click into this option here showing packing attribute attributes i'm going to click that scroll down and you'll find this packing bar here now uh over here under scale we'll find optimization by default it's on auto fit now that's perfect for 90% of cases. Uh, not this case though, because although auto fit is going to give us the best, I guess, use of our, I guess, UV sphere, uh, square, sorry. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, we're trying to keep to a consistent texel density. So our textures kind of line up and you don't see any crazy changes. So all I'm going to do is change here to none. It's going to keep initial scale. Um, you can control this by playing around with these times here. Uh, so that can be also a great way of playing around with the texels there. But now by pressing P, you're going to see it's going to load up in the corner here. All perfect. I can play around with um, stuff like this padding if I wanted, you know, 16 padding. Uh, select everything, press P and it's going to, um, I guess, widen everything. I could increase the margin if I really wanted to. Uh, also go 16, for example, um, and then P, uh, it seems to, no, oh no, it seems to have applied, there we go. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully that was uh, helpful and entertaining, and yeah, hopefully it helps you. See you.